folks it's Jack here from Peach Guitars hope you're having a great day we've just taken delivery of some very very nice Friedman custom shop guitars and we haven't seen these for quite a while you may remember at least a couple of years ago I think John and I unboxed a bunch of Friedman's and I don't remember seeing any ever since then it's been a while since I've tried out some new Friedman guitars and to make it even more special this most recent shipment comprises of their new vintage line now we've seen a couple of these models before We've certainly seen a couple of the vintage T's and I think maybe even a couple of the vintage S's, but new for last year, we're finally seeing now, is the vintage T Classic, the most traditional Tele style guitar. So I was very keen, being a big Tele fan and Tele enthusiast, to see what Friedman's spin on this formula would be. And I'm very pleased to say that it's not necessarily what I expected. And what I mean by that is, we've all kind of got this impression of Dave Friedman's amp designs now as being very much in the contemporary high gain kind of world. But we forget that Dave Friedman himself is a massive enthusiast of all things classic rock and classic metal, that great period of 70s music, 70s and 80s. And this guitar line designed in conjunction with the great Grover Jackson really epitomizes a lot of those design ideals. And I think it really emphasizes what Friedman's amp line and his pedals have always been about as well. It's that classic tone that just makes it really user friendly and really easy for the modern player to get on board with. So in this video, you're gonna hear a couple of examples of each model of guitar. So you're gonna hear two of the Vintage T, you're gonna hear two of the Vintage S's and two of the Vintage T Classics. And I think this gives a nice broad uh, cross section of different tones and things that you can expect out of these guitars. But just my initial impression of them, as I said, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. I've played a few of these before, uh, more, more regularly than not the, the kind of more modern Friedman style guitars. So the hot rodded strats with the Floyd Roses, the Cali guitars and that kind of thing. This vintage line though is very different altogether. It's got way more of, as the name implies, a classic sensibility. You've got that nice worn in feel. So all these necks are super comfortable maple necks. You've got a choice of either maple fingerboards with some rosewood. I believe you can get ebony as an option as well. So there's a couple of different options, but this has got that really great classic. It makes me think of any of those uh, vintage Charvel and Jackson guitars that I've ever played from the early to mid 80s, where it's that super sculpted feel to the neck. They've all got compound radius boards as well. You've got a 10 to 14 inch compound radius on the S, uh, on the T and the S. The Classic has a slightly, uh, slightly more curved radius. I think it's seven to 10 compound, but it's still a compound radius. And the most interesting thing to note here as well is that Grover Jackson is very heavily involved with these designs and he is the man who initiated and came up with the compound radius back in the day, which is so common nowadays. So that's a really nice touch. He certainly knows what he's doing when it comes to designing these very cool neck profiles. I said earlier on that it wasn't quite what I expected. What I mean by that is that a lot of times you see a lot of these companies taking on the ideals of a classic guitar design 
with, with some modern features. And sometimes it works great, other times it leaves you a little bit cold, I find, if you're really firmly in the vintage guitar camp and you love those classic tones, but you want the modern playability, there's always a balancing act and it's not always in the favor of the vintage guitar enthusiast. And that's a good thing, maybe you don't like that kind of thing, but if you do, you, you'll know the struggle of finding that kind of guitar that appeals to you and is still really easy to play. And just in playing all of these guitars today, I find that the mojo is there. Each guitar has its own character, right down to the fact that, for example, the Reliking, which is a very light, very tastefully, aging, uh, tastefully aged job on these guitars. It's very simple, but it's different on every guitar. It's, there's no formula, there's no templates that they follow. Every guitar is unique, and I really like that. And that plays into the feel of them as well. You find that with the neck profiles. The profile is around about the same, but it does vary from guitar to guitar, and I think that's a great touch. So in terms of the actual feel of the neck, like I said, it's nicely worn in. It's quite a slim neck, but it's got a nice bit of meat to it in the back. So it kind of feels like you've taken a really great classic Fender neck and you've just had it sculpted by someone who really knows what they're doing and it affords you all this speed and playability, but not to the point that it goes too far in the other direction and it becomes sterile, difficult to really dig into and hit some nice bends. This is kind of the nice balance of all things, at least in my opinion, as someone who likes more of a vintage guitar kind of feel, these tick those boxes very well. Now bodywood on these guitars, I think all the guitars that we've got so far on this shipment are all older wood bodies. You can check the web listings for the individual guitars. If there's one you're interested in, it will confirm or deny that fact. But I believe they're all older wood bodies. You do have some ash bodied guitars and mahogany bodied guitars as well that you can custom order. And they're all hand picked specimens by Dave and Grover Jackson for the bodywoods and for the necks. And what's cool is that every guitar is signed off by both of them. They're all hand-picked woods by both of those guys. And I believe they actually go through an awful lot of wood to find the right pieces for these guitars. They really whittle it down to only the finest pieces. So that's a nice touch as well. So another nice touch across all the models in the ranges now is that Friedman are using their own proprietary pickups on board. So you've got classic uh, humbucking pickups in this guitar. You've got single coils, obviously, uh, in the form of an S-style and a T-style single coil, and they're all in-house designs. They're all purpose-built for this model, uh, for each of the models, I should say. So these pickups, I find, have that kind of typical PAF vibe with a little bit more of maybe a hyped mid-range, a little bit more output, but not so much on this guitar. You find in the Vintage S, it's a classic plus, they call it. So it's a little bit more output, a little bit more body and girth to the tone. Matches up really well with the single coils, which I'll talk about in a second. But this was definitely one of the standout pieces for me, this, this sort of trans finish um, classic T, vintage T, I should say. It's just a no frills guitar, and this is always where you find the reveal of the character of the builder, if that makes sense. When a guitar is really simple, and there's no crazy electronic wizardry going on, there's no coil splits, there's no tremolo, it's just a plank of wood bolted to another plank of wood with a few bits of metal on the top, as a good T-style instrument should always be and you really, you really get a sense of the character of the builders, like I say, and this just evokes so much of that late 70s, early 80s hot rod spirit without it being a gimmick and without it feeling sort of contrived from the vintage guitar world that these things were actually kind of conceived from. So it's a really nice balance, and the fact that you've got Grover Jackson on board, the guy who kind of kick-started this whole craze of hot rodding guitars, it's a really nice, warm, welcoming feeling to play any of these guitars. <laughs>
Okay, so a quick note on the Vintage S as well. HSS guitar design, we've seen plenty of this design in recent years, but Friedman have added something very different to the table once again. Their relic job on this guitar differs from any other company that I've seen attempt to do aging. It's not overblown, they haven't done too much to it, there's just some really nice checking to the body and it feels legitimately worn in. And what's nice as well is that all the components match, which you don't always see on some guitars. Now the finishing actually is really, really impressive because I believe that Grover Jackson is one of the only people in Southern California licensed to spray nitro. So these nitro finishes are all made in-house in California. They're really, really thin and you can see the fine detailing of every finish on every single guitar. This sunburst doesn't have that modern sunburst that's been kind of died down kind of feeling to it, if you know what I mean, where you see some guitars that look like new guitars that have been beaten up. This just looks like an old sunburst finish. It's got a really nice red kind of hue to it and it doesn't have too much of that kind of glaring modern look. So the finish aside, the feel once again is really nice. Similar, very, very similar neck profile to the T, but like I said, it does deviate a little bit on every single one of these guitars. So obviously this particular guitar has the rosewood board. As I mentioned earlier, the maple guitars seem to have a little bit more zing to them and you can get a maple variant on this vintage S, as you can see on the blue one over there. But this particular one just has a little bit more warmth to the tone. I think a lot of it has to do with the rosewood board. And it's got a different feel as well. It feels a little bit more uh, kind of solid for lack of a better term. Anyone who knows the differences between standard maple and rosewood boards will identify this difference in the feel and the tone. The truth is evident here with the Vintage S. Now the last thing I want to mention on this particular guitar, but it does apply to everything, is the very cleverly designed zero shift neck pocket, they call it. It's a tight fit, really tight uh, fit with the neck pocket, but you get a really easy adjustment down here, similarly to, to how you have on a Music Man. This is something that I think a few other boutique builders could maybe learn from to have really quick adjustment to the neck, uh, to the truss rod and the, the adjustments you need to make with that. Really easy to do. I will say though that all these guitars, took them out of the cases today, they all played superbly. It's not always the case that you find that. They often require a little bit of adjustment considering these guitars have traveled from the other side of the world through many different climates, but these were rock solid straight out of the box, just tune them up and just having the flexibility of that easy neck adjustment, if necessary, is really reassuring. So if you've got this guitar on a gig or in a hot studio or something, it's nice to know that you can make that quick, easy adjustment as you need it. Right, so the last guitar I'm going to talk about today is the new one, the one that I was excited for, the Vintage T Classic. As the name implies, this is literally the most classic T design of all. The two Tele-style single coil pickups, once again, which are Friedman's own proprietary design. They sound really, really nice and they sound a little bit fatter. 
So what they've decided to do with this guitar is just take all the best elements of T-style guitars of the past, but stick in the vintage kind of world. They haven't modernized it too much, but they have just made certain subtle adjustments like these pickup, the voicing of these pickups, for example, the feel of the neck, the fact that you've got a very slight compound radius board, seven to 10 inches, I believe, on this model, as opposed to 10 to 14 on the others. So it still feels like a vintage guitar, once again, that's just been really worn in and really made super comfortable. The other uh, major addition is this in-tune Goto Tele style bridge, which has this very sleek sort of cutaway around the pickup. So it's just one of those things, again, you don't get your pick caught. If you're one of those people that doesn't like tellies because you find trouble with the bridge, that's been alleviated here. You've got that same easy neck adjustment here, 22 frets on all these guitars, and I'd say they're kind of medium jumbo frets. They're not super huge. So they've just struck a really great balance once again. Like I said, I wasn't sure what to expect. It's delivered on more of the vintage properties that I personally like out of this style of guitar. And I think a lot of guitar players look for that we kind of equate to that vibe factor. It's got a lot of that, but it's also got the modern, the reliability, the flexibility, the tweakability, all that good stuff. All those buzzwords apply and it won't be the first time you've heard me say that on this guitar channel here, as we do feature a lot of boutique builders that all have their own spin on things. But maybe you didn't even know that Dave Friedman and Grover Jackson made instruments at all. And the fact that they make this kind of instrument, I think, will be surprising to a lot of people. And if that's one of you, let me know in the comments what you think, particularly about this Vintage T Classic. I think this ticks a lot of boxes. But the Vintage T and the Vintage S, with all the different variants and different pickup configurations you can get as well, are equally very appealing. The nice thing about this is it's basically the old school custom shop. That's the whole vibe of what Friedman are going for. You can have any spec that you want, but the wheelhouse is very much rooted in the vintage school of thought. And they've got some modern counterparts as well, if that's more your thing. You can check out all the range of Friedman products that we've got in stock right now by clicking the link down in the description below to peachguitars.com. You can check out everything we've got there. That's about it folks, just to round things off, I'll let you know what I'm playing through today. The rig you're hearing is a Sir Koji Comp compressor, got a Kingtone Duelist overdrive for a bit of a lead boost here and there. And in honor of Dave, I'm using his Friedman Dirty Shirley overdrive pedal for most of the overdriven tones you're gonna hear. Line 6 HX effects for some reverb and delay, and I'm plugged into a Boogie Fillmore 25 amp. There we are folks, I hope you've enjoyed this overview of Friedman's new custom vintage lineup of guitars. I hope you've enjoyed the tones as well, and if you have, let me know in the comments down below which of these particular guitars was your favorite. And if you'd like to hear even more about them and check out the rest of the guitars we've had on this recent shipment, head over to the Peach Boutique YouTube channel, which will be linked down below as well. And you'll find individual listing videos and stock photos on our website for every single one. So that's it. Take good care of yourselves, folks. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, <laughs> wow. thank you. <laughs>